San Francisco, San Francisco Giants right-hander Chris Stratton will seek to duplicate two impressive efforts when he takes the mound for the opener of a three-game series against the Washington Nationals on Monday night at 10.15 p.m. ET. The series is the first in San Francisco since Giants reliever Hunter Strickland plunked national star Bryce Harper with a pitch last May, triggering a brawl at the mound that resulted in the ejection of both players. The Giants got the worst of the altercation, with slugging backup Michael Morse suffering a career-ending concussion in a collision with teammate Jeff Samardzia near the mound. Stratton WASNT with the Giants at the time, but he contributed one of the best-pitched games of his young career when the clubs met again in Washington in August. Related, Bryce Harper home run tracker Harper Nats Giants brawl USAT.jpg making just his third career start, the 27-year-old shut out the Nationals on five hits over six and two-thirds innings in a 4-2 win. He struck out 10, it's the only time he has faced Washington. Stratton 1-1, 2 2.22, has won just four times since, and came close to a fifth when he limited Arizona to one run in seven innings in his last start on Wednesday. He did not, however, get a decision in the 4-3 win, during which he recorded eight strikeouts. The Giants will be opening a 10-game homestand following a 10-game trip on which they went just 4-6. Staten started two of the four wins. Stratton WASNT the only Giants starter who pitched well on the trip. The club is coming off a series win against the Los Angeles Angels in which both Sam Ardzia and Johnny Cueto took shutouts late in two wins. Strickland saved Sunday's 4-2 win for Cueto, and afterward was asked about his thoughts of seeing Harper again, win a series, is all he would say. Related, latest MLB power rankings and the Nationals, the Giants will be seeing a team coming off a high-profile series against the Los Angeles Dodgers, one that included a meeting on Sunday night baseball. Washington lost two of three in the rematch of 2017 division winners, scoring a total of just eight runs on 21 hits in the three games, which ended with the Nationals stranding two in the top of the ninth of a 4-3 loss on Sunday. Harper went 2 for 10 in the series, which the Nationals played without injured regulars Daniel Murphy, Anthony Rendon and Adam Eaton. They remain out. Left-hander Joe Gonzalez 2 to 1, 2.49 will oppose Stratton. The veteran has made 12 career starts against the Giants, going 5 to 4 with a 3.06 era. He restored order to the Nationals Giants series in San Francisco last the day after the brawl, pitching 6 and a third innings in a 6 to 3 win. It improved his record at At Park to 2-3 with a 3.95 era in seven starts. Gonzalez threw 97 pitches in beating the New York Mets 5-2 in his last start, allowing two runs and eight hits in five and a third innings on Tuesday. That pitch totaled WASNT even five times the number Giants first baseman Brandon Belt saw in one historic at-bat Sunday against the Angels' Jamie Barrier in the first inning. Belt fouled off 16 pitches and flied out on the 21st pitch of the at-bat, the most pitches in a Major League Baseball at-bat since 1988. Afterward, Belt apologized, when him in the field, I hate it when a batter keeps fouling pitches off, he insisted. Im like, dude, just put it in play. It's not that hard. Let's go. So, I basically had to apologize to everybody after that, related, how Nats dropped. Final game versus Dodgers.